Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by and for returning to the old world. We've recently had news that Games Workshop has done a deal with Amazon for the production of some Warhammer based TV and that this is going to include Henry Cavill, star of multiple films including Superman and The Witcher. And I can see there's already been quite a few videos released on this. I think people getting quite excited around the prospect. Certainly something which could really foist Games Workshop into the mainstream far more than it already is. Something noted certainly in reports around the impact it's had on the share price today, which is the 16th. December. So what does this mean? Well, obviously, there's something for us to look forward to, albeit there is going to be a, the issue of it being locked behind a paywall. I imagine you'd need to be a subscriber to Amazon Prime to get hold of this event when it eventually comes out, whenever that may well be. Could be a few years down the line, who knows, at this stage. But it also begs the question, I think, of what is this programme going to be? Now, there are a number of really great stories about the Warhammer universes, be it looking at the books in front of me, things like Gotrix and Felix from the, the classic Warhammer world, the story of Gaunt's Ghosts from 40k, or, of course, Eisenhorn. Now, I have seen previously some utterances around Games Workshop looking to do something with the Eisenhorn character. And I think that would make some really good television. And there's an opportunity here for Games Workshop and Amazon to do something really right and really special. Why? Well, when we think Warhammer 40,000, what do we think of? We think of genetically engineered superhumans smiting the enemies of humanity. That superhuman is probably wearing the blue armour of the Ultramarines. They are, of course, the poster boys of the last few editions of Warhammer 40,000. But Eisenhorn, Eisenhorn offers us something different. And it's not something that will only appeal to your casual fan, to your 40k fanboy, and things like that. Eisenhorn will allow Games Workshop to further explore the Imperium of Man and the society that sits behind the battlefield. It's a small number of characters that have a really interesting dynamic, Lots of layers, unrequited love, things like that going on. Um, how people through great tragic experiences are bonded together. All sorts of stuff going on. Which will make the characters interesting for a TV show or for a series, for a, a film or more, whatever it may be. And can really, if well done... I think, capture the imagination. But the stories around Eisenhorn, obviously the book here written by Dan Abnett, they're not just about war. They're about the society. There's stuff to explore. You've got the who done it kind of elements of the investigation. Did trying to track down the big bad for that episode, for the series, however they decide to play it. There's an air of mystery. There's problem solving. And there's the opportunity to really provide a critique of this society of the far future. Now, 
This doesn't mean to say that whatever show they produce is going to be amazing. They could drop the ball fantastically. There is absolutely that opportunity that they're going to turn out something that's utter, utter guff. And when I say utter guff, I'm thinking of some of those classic, shall we say, fantasy films, which they're not very good. They've got all the tropes in them, and they're just so one-dimensional, it's untrue. But they could also do something really special, something really interesting, and something that has mass appeal, because there's something in it for so many different types of audience. We've already seen huge success with Games Workshop in fields outside of wargaming. The Total War Warhammer series really jumps to mind. It's sold, I don't know how many million copies across the world. And I think the only thing that stopped that from being a winner and bringing people into the fold of the War Games hobby, certainly within the Warhammer sphere of that, is the fact that Warhammer the Old World hasn't been released yet and isn't going to be released for quite some time. I'll be honest, I think Games Workshop have really missed a trick with that and there was a real opportunity to get people in, to sell them models, and get them pushing plastic around the table. The moment for that has probably passed. But with Eisenhorn, well, games, the film rather, or TV show, whatever it ends up being, still going to be in development. It's going to be a while yet. And I think... With such games as Necromunda, Kill Team, etc. being on the cards. Uh, sorry, being well established. And you can always push further development of these games. Pushing the Inquisitorial group, for example, as a Kill Team. And they did have the Inquisitor game from years ago. Maybe that could see a re-release if the TV show films does well there's loads of options here to get people into the hobby which will probably be quite exciting I think for Games Workshop as a company so what do I think well I think and I certainly hope that if you're spending the kind of money that will be required to get stars such as Henry Cavill involved as much as a Warhammer fantasy is, it's going to cost. They're going to spend the money to do it right. That's my hope. That's my expectation here. And I really, really sincerely hope that we're going to see something of the special end of the spectrum. That gives us a real insight into the lives of ordinary people. In the Imperium and isn't going to be just a trope, just your space marine killing thousands and thousands of things because they're so mighty and special. But real tales of hardship, challenges to be overcome, engaging storylines. Have I gone completely off the deep end here? Do you think that I'm hoping for something that just isn't going to happen. If so, do let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts for this? This is a return to the old world. Thank you very much for listening. Have a great day.